It's common practice for the court to have sentencing frameworks, but this will be the first time that there is a sentencing advisory panel for criminal offences here in Singapore. One lawyer explains how this could work in practice. That's again not to say that the courts do not have discretion to, to fine tune. They can fine tune and make sure that the sentence fits the crime. But at least now, hopefully there will be more consistency across the cases um, and also a sense that the sentences are reflecting the severity of the crimes as perceived by the community and as intended by the law. Professor Kumar explained that while the panel may set out guidelines, it will not have the power to seek a judicial review as it's not a party to cases. But what can happen is that if a court, let's say, departs from the guidelines, then they are obliged to give reasons why. Again, if the reasons are cogent, then that is fine. But if a court departs from the framework in a manner that is inexplicable, then the parties may be able to appeal. And that is something that I suspect the Court of Appeal will then take into account, because otherwise the, the sentencing uh, framework becomes truthless.